Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we are taking the train from Atocha right now because we are going to Valencia. It's our anniversary tomorrow and we decided to spend five days in Valencia. And we always wish of coming to Valencia when we were in India uh, for a, a number of reasons. It's a nice city. It's the closest beach to Madrid and of course it's it has a very historical football club if you want to see Valencia. Valencia, Joaquin Sorolla, end of our trip. Thank you for traveling with Renfe. We look forward to working with you on board again soon. Please remain seated until the train has stopped and do not forget your personal belongings. Thank you. We are staying at the Eurostar's Rey Jaime, which is very close to the city centre. It's around 3 kilometres from the from the seaside and it's uh, around 1 kilometre from the Ciutat Vella, which is the old town. So we are in a very good location to walk uh, in all the tourist attractions that, that are there in Valencia. It's even around 2 kilometres away from the Mestalla Stadium. So uh, you remember the lady in the train station, uh, the information uh, guide office, uh, she said that we don't need a transport car because we are staying right in the center and we can just walk anywhere we want. And she helped plan our trip, so we are staying here for five days. We actually bought the ticket over there for uh, Oceanographic and uh, 4D Cine, which happens in Museum of Arts and Science. Mm. Which is right across the street. Which is mm, yeah, for that we, uh, we are going to go tomorrow. And then she gave us the Valencia map. She gave us this guidebook which tells us all the museums which are free on Sunday. So today is Sunday and it's... Many of the museums are free. Yeah, so we are going to go to all the museums which are free today. And, and that uh, that list includes a lot of museums. Might not be able to cover all of them, but the ones in which we are interested, we are going to go to all of them. The Silk Exchange, that is our first interest. And second is, next to the Cathedral of Valencia, there is an archaeological museum, which has some of the remains of uh, you know, Valencia when it was uh, the city, uh, It was uh, the way it was during the Roman period. But that is, that is... Siat, or what was the Roman name of Valencia, I forgot, but... There are remains of uh, the Roman period in Valencia, so we have uh, those two are on top of our list. No, but the second one, uh, this archaeological museum is generally free, so we might skip No, it. the archaeological museum is free today. It's a Sunday. Uh, but the tourist... Uh, uh, the silk exchange is free. The silk exchange is free. Okay. Oh, so this is the silk exchange. Yeah. This one. We are going to try the paella today. Yeah, so today is the day we try the real authentic paella. Paella, Valencian paella. Not the one you get in Plaza Mayor in Madrid, but the real <laughs> one. Yeah, so let's go. Vamos.
beach right now. We just had a lunch. It's a Mediterranean Sea. We just had the Paya Valencia, you know, that is the traditional Paya Valencia. It's fantastic. It contains chicken, rabbit, uh, artichokes, beans, and uh, rice. <laughs> yeah. That was amazing. I mean, I loved it. It's very cold and uh, I want to go to my hotel and wear something long because I'm wearing shorts. It's cold. And, but we are walking in inside this old town and it's nice. It's really charming. It's quite old and it's charming. It's really rustic. I'll show you a bit around. I mean, you can see the graffitis on the walls and some uh, old architecture and some old crum crumbling houses that side. So after the Spanish Civil War, uh, post 1950s, when uh, Franco became the ruler and he ruled till I think the middle, uh, the mid 70s, and uh, this part, the Cabanal part of Valencia, was quite a neglected part. So what happened was, uh, you know, like okay, in other parts of Spain, especially in Madrid, in Barcelona, and other parts, a lot of new buildings came up. Uh, money was spent on construction, on renovation of the city, but these parts they were neglected although like in the last 10 15 years again the government the present government they poured in money uh, for the renovation of the city which you can see some of the buildings are renovated but some of the buildings are really you can see the neglect in some of the buildings so it's a very unusual balance of neglect and renovation that you can see in Cabanyal. it's a very nice area to take a walk to discover just be laid back and just enjoy it. It's, it's really nice. The wind is picking up and uh, I think we need to get back to our hotel to get our jackets. And then we'll see what is our plan. Next. We'll see what is open. <laughs> in front of the Mercat de Colón. Uh, it's an old market which opened in 1916 uh, but right now it specializes in small stores only for eating and drinking. Small tapas bars. We are going to a Urchata bar right now. It's called Casa Urchata. Okay, now about Urchata. So it, the drink is, uh, it's a drink called Urchata de Chufa. So Urchata is like a shake or a drink in the local language and Chufa Chufa is a kind type of, of nut. nut. Yeah, it's a kind of nut which grows in the Valencian region. In English, it's called the tiger nut. Uh, I'm not sure where else it's available, but it grows widely in the Valencian region. So you find, like a lot of service area, a lot of cafeterias, you find a lot of orchata areas. The drink is orchata de chufa. We have tried a lot from the supermarkets. Um, the quality, I don't know. But they used to come with the, a seal of the Comunidad de Valencia uh, because only the real chufas come from the, in Spain, it comes from the Comunidad de Valencia region. So we're going to uh, try uh, Ochado de Chufa inside. The real one. The real one. Uh, luckily, only this Mercado or Mercat is open. Everything is closed, even the restaurants, bars, most of them are closed. The Valencians, they take their Sunday seriously and they take the siesta time very seriously. Respect.
I didn't like it. <laughs> How is it? I didn't like it. It's good. Yes, yes. It's good. It's very. How do you say it? Muddy. Not muddy, but yeah, you can taste the nuts or the crumbled nuts. Earthy. Yes, earthy is the real word. It's it's very different. I just asked the lady who is serving over here, why do people drink this? So it's actually... I gave her the answer, she wasn't convinced. I was actually not convinced because... Yeah, so the answer is, you tell them. Uh, it's very refreshing and it cools you down, especially in a hot summer day. Uh, in Valencia, the temperatures can... Oh, this is the new one. Which is gas, yes. Pienso que está Sí, por eso mismo. Sí, sí. Perfecto. Okay, so he liked it so much that he's having another, another glass. One. Yeah. It's a very different taste. It's not, not like a normal drink that you have. It's, it's very different, but it's very good. I'm just having an infusion tea. What was this? <laughs> I forgot. Infusion de roibos. Infusion de roibos with orange and orange a lot of stuff. Orange chai. 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 Chai is not an Indian word. It's Chinese. No. Okay. Let's get it this way. Word is uh, similar to cha if it has traveled by land. So in China, it travels by the Silk Route. Same in Persian, it's called chai. In Hindi, it's called chai. Mommy. Uh, North Africa, it's very similar. But if tea has traveled by 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 sea. water, by sea, it's te. For example, in uh, Denmark, it's te. In uh, Spain, it's te. In um, England, it's tea. Originally, it comes from China, right? So, it should be chai. Where did they get this word te or tea from? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So, yeah, enjoy your rooibos. <laughs> <laughs> How was your chat? Rocha, that was good. It was good. It was sugar-free. I initially thought I'll enjoy a sugar-free version, but I couldn't. <laughs> because it was too muddy. <laughs> it was too muddy. I needed somewhat sweetness, but not very sweet. Like the ones you get in the supermarket, even even with the Comunidad de Valenciana stamp, is very sweet. But this is not as sweet, but oh, livable sweetness. Just with one packet, and that's it. This one, this one is sweet. Thank you.